Okay, so let's look at the picture frame and what we're going to do. So we're going to be doing that picture frame. Uh, so let me really quickly build one real quick. So this will be really, really simple. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and build that. I'm going to right click, convert to, editable polygon. Click that middle face right there. I'm going to go ahead and do an inset. Get my frame. I don't want to go too far because I'll go through the back, so I need to be careful with that. And I'll just do that. There we go. Okay, so that gives me my base frame. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and click and give it like a gray color because um, it's easier to see that way. And then I'll go and of course turn on my edged faces and then I'll get started. Okay, so. What I can do is I can go ahead and do an unwrap UVW. So I'll go to my modifier list over here and I will type unwrap UVW. There it is. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control A just to select everything. <clears throat> I'm gonna open my UV editor and I'm gonna go to mapping, flatten mapping. Okay, all right, so there we go. So now I can actually start looking and seeing what I have. So this is my main image here. That's what I want my main image to be. And then of course I've got my um, frame, back piece, all that stuff right here. So what I can do is I'm gonna go ahead and select all of those. And then I'm gonna move them out of the way. This is my main piece here. scale it up a little bit so I have full resolution on that bad boy scale these down because these are gonna be wood and I can actually stack those on top of each other so you'll see in just a second okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck polygon and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make my materials so I'm gonna hit M on this bitmap okay let's be Kratos open okay I'll click on this one and this one will be wood wood okay there we go so there's a couple ways I can do this I can put this all into one texture if I wanted to or I can just apply them as separate materials Right, so that's one of the easiest things to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to right click, convert to double poly, select this whole thing. I'm going to hit M. I'm gonna apply the wood material to it. So that's all gonna show up. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my faces. I'm going to select this one. And I'm gonna right click I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to assign material to selection. Okay, so now we can see that it's a little bit big, right? So it doesn't quite fit yet. So we're going to go ahead and make that fit. So I'm going to go back to my Unwrap UPW and open UV Editor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is with this open, I'm, I don't need to redo anything, it's all set. I'm going to go to my checker pattern and I'm going to choose my pick texture, bitmap lookup, it's Kratos, I'll hit open. So that's what Kratos looks like right now. And then what I can do is you can see that I can actually move this to get what I want. Right, so I could do this and I could go to my vertices
I can move them. And there we go. That makes that work. Now don't even worry about this other UV, right? It doesn't matter. Um, so what I can do now is I can uncheck my vertices and I can change my, my texture. So I'll look at the wood texture now. And I can go ahead and start messing with these guys here pretty easily. So if that's in the way. So I'll move that down. If you notice, it's still going to match up perfectly because your UVs extend all the way out of here. So now what I could do is I could actually click on this stuff. And I, like if I decide that I want this to be pointed in a different direction, for instance, I can rotate it. I'm going to turn on my rotate snaps. Select those. So there's a 90 degree rotate right there. And I can turn on my component mode, select the whole thing. And you can see that now the wood grain is actually um, moving the same direction on that piece. So we can fix these pieces if we want to. So which ones are these? These guys. Okay. So to fix this, rotate it. And that should have fixed that one. So now it follows the kind of pattern that we have established. It's sliding across, and there we go. And we can also fix the back piece by just grabbing it and rotating it. There we go. And that's it. You could also go in and input and fix those guys if you wanted to. Those in-between ones. And I'll just convert to a poly again to get rid of the unwrap UVW. You don't have to do that at all. But uh, this gives me my basic picture frame. There it is. All right. I hope that helps you. I hope that answers maybe any questions you guys still had, but that's it.